Hi everybody, welcome to another evening with Sips. Tonight, we're taking a look at Urban Empire. It's a game that just came out a couple of days ago. It's a... Uh, it's not a city builder. It looks like a city builder. It's not quite a city builder. It's a city planner game. It's, it's a new dawn. It's a new day for uh, city based games, city building and city planning game. This one is a city planner. So we're not actually going to build anything. Uh, we're just going to um, govern a city, I guess, and let everybody else build stuff and do whatever they're going to do. Anyway, um, the reviews are mixed on Steam for this. Uh, it's a Calypso game. Uh, they sort of took over Tropico and some other uh, titles as well. Some of their stuff is okay, some of it not so great. This looks interesting, but I'm not sure if it's going to be good. Having said that, I've never played it before. This is literally the first time I've launched it. So we're going to jump in and take a look and see what we think. I'm going to do a new game right now. I hope I get to be this suave MF. Look, he's got like a golden hanky and a golden matching bow tie as well. Now, if that doesn't scream sophistication, I don't know what does. This guy also has a monocle. And this guy is, uh, he's got like a, it's got like a napkin from the dinner table attached to his hat. Whatever. What can you do? Let's do a new campaign and see how we go. Maybe it'll just sort of ease us through the game. All right, we have to select a family apparently. Um, choose a family. Do we want the von Filzens? The St. Elias? The Kilgannons. I thought that said the Klingons for a second. It's not the Klingons. Or the Shuiskis. The Shuiskis are Russian emigres. A strong working class family with a history in politics and the labor rights movement. They rose from grassroots community activists to major players on the city's political scene. St. Elias, patrons of inventors and innovators, believe in solving problems through technology and technological... Okay, yes. Let's go for the technological innovation, okay, so that we can get monorails and everything in the city, like, super fast. That would be good, right? Alright, let's select the St. Elias. They've got a really cool key and a book on their uh, crest, which is kind of cool. Um, and I guess we start by picking... No, wait. No, I didn't... No. I didn't... What? No. Oh no! Who knows what I just picked? I was clicking furiously trying... Okay, I guess we're this guy! <laughs> we're Giuseppe! We're a guy named Giuseppe! And we God knows where we've started. Anyway, it's all random. It I clicked randomly. I was trying to change. I wanted to change to like a... Like a hot girl, but no, I couldn't. We're Giuseppe instead. Oh, well, this is fine. Okay, we're getting thrown in at the deep end here, but it's fine. Welcome to your office, Giuseppe Santelais. Your father, Giovanni, was a scientific advisor to the court of the Austrian Empire, and the emperor wanted him to lead the founding of a new city, Kaiserschaffen. Did I pronounce that right? I hope I did. It sounds like I, sounds like I nailed it, actually, but you be the judge. Unfortunately, he fell seriously ill, as you two were well-known at court and had just graduated from the best university in Italy with excellent grades. The emperor asked you to take your father's place. All right, sweet. Sounds good. Welcome to Urban Empire. I'll get you started with your career. Um, all right, fine. We're gonna move the camera around a bit. Okay, we've done it. Nice. We can uh, tilt the camera as well. Apparently, this is this is really good. How do we tilt it? Or I'm yet yeah, great. Okay, all right. Let's get started building your city. Cities are made up of smaller parts called districts. All residents, companies, and municipal services reside within a district. Districts also have infrastructures and different zoning. They're the basic component from which you influence your city. So let's create your first district. Okay, fine. We're gonna create a district. Um, we're gonna draw an area, apparently. Okay, now how do we... Is it just me, or can you not, like, get a... Okay, you can't get, like, a perfectly, sort of, um, landscape view. Okay, we're gonna draw a district. Where's our first district gonna be? Man, this must be hard. Imagine being, like, one of the original founding fathers of America and having to plan a town for the first time. Like, you get this blank canvas, and where the hell do you start? Oh, look at the farmland out here. It's nice. Okay. So, uh, we are going to, um, make a district. Let's make it, like... Oh my god, okay. Let's... I'm not... Yes. This is better. Okay. We'll call this one... Lakeview. We'll call this district... 
lake view. Oh, I like this. So far, so good. Add a corner with a right click. Okay, I've done that. I've added a corner with a right click. No road connection. Oh, I see. Okay, we need to have... Okay, it needs to have a road connection. That's fine. And it's an illegal district shape as well. This should be fine. Okay, we have a road connection. It's an illegal shape though. Okay, here we go. Look, it's gonna fit. All right. Our dreams of Lakeview. Oh, oh, okay, it was hard work. We got there in the end. It's a big old district. We can confirm the land plan. Okay, great. And uh, it's gonna cost a lot of money. We can't confirm the land plan. I think maybe it's too big. Okay, let's, let's just... Let's just bring it down a bit. Okay, it's no longer lake view now. It's more like road view. Uh, because we can't actually confirm. We can do a default grid. Oh, look, we can change this. A dense grid, a sparse grid. Okay, this is this is all great. Default grid. It's going to cost us a lot of money. I can't add another corner. I'm, I'm clicking. It's saying add a corner with right, with right click. I'm, I've done it. Okay. That's all we needed to do, apparently, was just add a corner before we could... Okay, now it's Lakeview once again. Don't worry, everybody. It took a little doing, but the district is back. And this time, it's angry. Or, uh, or, or not, actually. We can confirm this land plan. Okay, perfect. Finally. We created our first district. This is where you can add services to the district. At the moment, there's only one service available, the city hall. That's the heart of the city. Dis city decision making, and it provides basic services needed by citizens. Later in the game, you will not only have a wider variety of services to build, but also infrastructure, zoning options, and density choices for the district. Click on the city hall and place it in the district by clicking on the desired location. Uh, okay, fine. We want to click on the city hall. Oh, wow, look. We can actually choose where it goes. Okay, we're going to have... We're, Lakeview is going to... It's a mixed area. This is a residential area and this industrial. Okay, we're going to have it right here in this mixed area. Perfect. Let's confirm these services. Excellent. And uh, we have to propose a new district. Now you can give the district the name of your choice or keep the suggested one. Later, once you have established the city council, you can propose that this be paid from city money. As this is your first district, you should use the money the emperor has given you and therefore only the use personal funds option is available. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna use our personal funds. Uh, we're going to, what's this? Can, I don't want to name this. What the hell, we, I guess we have to? Kaiser Schaefen. All right, progress cloud. This is where you can see all of the, the inventions. Researching inventions unlocks new municipal services, infrastructures, edicts, business areas, and gameplay features. Next to blah, 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 blah. Now click on an available invention. All right, what do we want to have here? Okay, gas infrastructure. I think we want some gas infrastructure for sure. Fooey, the porch light is burnt out and I can't see whether it's dark outside or not. Let's start some research on gas infrastructure. This is going to be good. All right, we're going back to the city screen now. Okay, so far so good. All right, as new citizens are settling in, we have some time to look at other things. First, let's learn how to change the time-lapse speed. For now, time is close to a standstill, so go ahead and unpause it. Okay, let's unpause it. Now it's going, and it looks like City Hall is just churning away the big ones. Oh my goodness, look at people are actually moving into this district. Look, they're building houses. Small businesses are forming. Maybe a major corporation is buying up all the land from the townsfolk and fleecing them for all they're worth. That would be good as well. Uh, meanwhile, City Hall is just sort of plugging away there. They're having debates in there. There's, they're passing bills. They're doing all sorts of uh, sitting around, planning their holidays and stuff. We've had an invitation to party convention. The physi the physiocratic party appreciates you so much that you're invited to give a speech at the party's convention. Uh, we're gonna ha get a plus two socialite bonus, but a minus two solitarian um, not bonus. All right, let's do it. Your speech was excellent and received loud applause from members of physiocratic the the physiocratic party. Okay, great. I'm not sure what the ramifications of that are, but there we go. I mean, this is pretty nice. I don't want this to be called this, though. I want to actually uh, change it. But look, you can click on it. 
We can modify- Great! Now that some citizens have found a new home in our city, it's time to add some more services. Times passes, you'll need to improve, balance, and add more services to existing districts. You will also gain new options to help you do so. A much-needed school is to be built, so let's get familiar with how to add services to existing districts. To get there, you need to click on the name of the banner at the top of the... Okay. Sure. Click. Modify. Nice. We're gonna build a school. We're gonna build a grammar school, apparently. Where are we gonna put this bad boy? Across the street from City Hall. Perfect! Let's confirm it. Nice! Great! Vote on modifying the district. We're gonna use our personal funds once again and see. Resource, so you can get more detailed information about any particular Wheel of Life value. What? Wheel of Life? This shows you how many sources you have for any particular Wheel of Life value, as well as the demand for it. Okay. City happiness? Happiness measures how well the citizen services needs are met. Happiness consists of all six Wheel of Life values. Security, social life, physical environment, fun, health, and personal growth. Happiness affects... A okay. Alright, nice. Good to know. We have a school now. And it looks like some more people are moving in. Look at our little town. Lakeview, as I like to call it. Not a Bronog. Uh, the game seems to have named it Bro... I can't change the name of it. It... This drives me crazy. Maybe if I modify the district and I say, let's rename it? No? Hey, we have the National Swarilian Party here and the Free Democratic Party as well. Okay, we don't have any more services that we can get. Are you sure you want to cancel your changes? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, I didn't actually make any changes, but there you go. All right, so I guess now that we're managing this district, this is like the- this is the whole town, and I haven't even needed to do anything. Look, I haven't needed to place a single road, I haven't had to place like any districts or- Well, I have- I- that's a lie, I have placed a district. But I haven't had to do anything. I haven't needed to place houses, I haven't needed to plan anything, I'm just- I'm just managing it. Which is nice for me, actually, I like this. Time to raise more money for the city, the bottom left panel brings you one of the game's main views. Even though you are the mayor and most important decision maker in the city, you're not alone. You can't run around spending money and raising taxes at will. To get things done, you need to have support in the city council, which can either approve or reject common proposals. So there is still much to learn. Let's head to the city council. Okay, we're going to go to the city council. Oh, nice. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. This is the city council. Here you can change the tax rate, funding levels, propose different types of edicts, of course, affect political decision making. After most decisions you make, there will be a council vote and you'll be wanting to influence how your fellow council members vote. Let's have a look at the parties to understand things better. Oh my god. This game is pretty in depth. Holy shit. Alright. This view lets you know everything you need to know about the different political parties. There are two particularly important things goodwill, political compass. In principle, the left-wing parties tend to like higher taxation and support public services, whereas right-wing parties lean towards low taxes at the expense of services provided for the citizens. Liberals and conservatives have opposing views on society's traditions and freedoms. Let's see this in action by raising the taxes. All right, I like that. I like to click on the taxing view. Where the hell is the taxing view? It's right here. Perfect. Active taxing. Okay, we're going to propose some taxing here. We are going to uh, raise company taxation, apparently. Nice. 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 All the way- No. Maybe not all the way up. Let's get it like- Let's find some middle ground here. Let's- Let's get it to like... 12%? 13%. Okay, let's propose this taxing. Uh, vote on tax adjustments causes long debates in council. Okay. Sure. Did it work? We can vote. Two things are important here. The three numbers represent individual council members and their opinions on the vote. It looks like um, 12 approve and 7 are against and 42 are in the middle. What? Um, okay. The key thing is to realize the difference between two. Last minute appeals are less effective than those made early on because some council members have already made up. So we got to grease people's palms here. We're going to appeal some parties here. Um, we're going to plead, demand. Let's plead. Let's do some pleading. You need to ask if this physiocratic party would help you in voting. Praise the positive effects behind your position. Okay, let's pray. Let's do a, a rousing speech again. The physiocratic party counselors generally distrust you, but you might have gained a few votes. Okay. Sweet. D did it work? 
I have no idea. All right, let's go to the city view. It looks like these guys are just going to debate their balls off in here while we do this. While we wait for the city council, this is a good time to check out the data view. Nice. Commander, I have some data for you. <laughs> it's where you can get all the information you could possibly want. Remember to come back once a vote is ready. Okay, we will definitely do that. Let's check out this data. Wow, okay, great data. Um, is the thing, gas infrastructure is done. The city administration is pondering between the different types of gas street lights. Do we want to choose the Anglo-Saxon model, the Parisian model, or the Viennese model? Let's go for the Parisian model. Okay. Uh, what's the effect on this? Bonus to physical environment and decorated gas street lights. Plus one. Great, whatever that has done, or whatever it means. Oh look, it's nighttime. The council are still in here debating this. Do we need to appeal some more parties, or are we? Look, it's slowly ticking down. Look, they're look, they're mad. This one's doing like the Arsenio Hall. Whoop whoop. This guy over here is just crying because he's got a beard. This lady here is like, I gotta get home. Leave it to Beaver is on tonight. I want to watch it. God, everybody is like so busy. Okay, let's go back to the city view. Just make sure that everything is hunky-dory here. It looks like everything is hunky-dory. Let's get a, uh, a nice view of... Oh, uh, look at that. Look! Hey! Did we do it? Did the appeal work? Yeah, I think it might have worked, you know. Okay, look at all these horse-drawn carriages. This is really nice. What is the current year? Is 1822. Holy shit. Oh my god. What have I pressed? I pressed the mouse button and done a view. A uh, zoom, sorry. Preparations for the vote have been completed. The city council can now vote on the proposal. You can still appeal to the parties if you want to, but the game will remain paused until voting is finished. Okay, let's go back and see. All right. It looks like all in favor are 24 and, uh, and the nays are 16. All right, let's begin voting. Here, we're tallying up the votes. It looks like we're going to pass this corporation tax. It's passed. Oh, man. Feels good. All right, perfect. We've done it. Now these pesky corporations can pay more tax. Oh, what a view. Can I pick up this gavel? No, I can't do shit here. I mean, I could talk to these guys if I want to, but... Perfect. All right, does that mean that we're now making some more money? I hope so. Let's click on this district and see. Looks like there's a lot of unhappiness here. Um, and I don't know what this thing means. Does this mean that they're decorated and part of the military? The rest of them are just unhappy. We have a couple of people who are in the... Oh, no, it's industrial. Low quality in the company. Oh, I see. It's nothing to do with military whatsoever. It's uh, telling us or informing us of a low quality standard in industry. That sucks, actually. Uh, our zoning density here is 60% residential, 10% commercial, and 30% industrial. Looks like we have uh, two roads here. Uh, I don't know what that actually means. Happiness uh, currently is being modified. We have minus two Louis, security. Oh, the porch light is burned out, and I can't see whether it's dark outside or not. Oh, nice. We've got the gas street light. Increases the security of the environment. This is good. Improves the physical environment. Second level road surface. Okay, nice. We now have gas infrastructure. We've done all of this stuff, I think. Yes, we've led it to here, and we've done it. We, should we get some sanitation next? I'm going to say, yeah, we're definitely going to need some. Let's start researching. Life is like a sewer. What you get out of it depends on what you put into it. That's so true, isn't it? That is so true. It's going to take 112 months. It's going to cost us a thousand light bulbs. But we're going to have a sewer system and people are going to be able to shit with wanton abandon. Not have to worry about it turning back up on the streets, hopefully. Um... It's just going to go down into the pipes and be lost forever. You have unlocked an infrastructure upgrade. These are upgrades to districts that provide various benefits and bonuses to a district's residents and companies. Infrastructure upgrades can be added when at creating a new district or added later by modifying an existing one. All right, I'll tell you what. We definitely want to add some gas lights here. This is the infrastructure view. Okay, thank you. Gas infrastructure. Electricity, one of the company's main infrastructure demands. Electricity also unlocks a lot of other infrastructure options for the dis... Let's activate the grid. We've done it. Now, perfect. Let's confirm it. Yes. Did we do it? I sure hope so. We confirmed it. Okay. We're out. We Now we have to propose it, right? 
We have to do a normal vote. Normal vote. Um, it looks like everybody's going to approve it, so let's go okay. Nice. Okay, it's going through the appeal process, but once it's all done, man, we're going to have a grid. We're going to have some gas infrastructure. Everybody's going to be so happy. That's right. Kaiser Schaefen, prepare for gas. <laughs> Everybody is so thrilled. Oh, including me. Man, I can't wait for gas. This is going to be great. We have to just wait here for gas now, I think. Oh my goodness. Look at some of these houses. This place is really coming along. You remember when it was just a bunch, like a little shanty town? Jeez. All right, modify district is complete. Let's begin voting. All in favor, say aye. Oh, it's a unanimous. Look, it's a landslide. Vote on modifying the district. We've done it. We did it. Everybody, it's passed. Good work, everybody. We did. Stop whooping. <laughs> we came together and we've installed some infrastructure and everybody's really happy about it. Well, somewhat. They, they seem kind of happy, but maybe not. We now have a gas grid. Oh, man, that's really nice. Business is booming. Glass. Oh, nice. What is all this? Liberal set. It is hereby proposed that the anti-water pollution legislation be enacted. What is this going to do? Uh, the effect is going to be... Demand change for physical environment. Brain power production added. And bonus to... Yes, let's support this, okay? We're going to support this one. A newspaper has appeared. You should always catch up with the latest headlines to know what is happening in the world around you. The news on the left side of the newspaper is always something important. Okay, let's take a look. All right, we've done this one, the anti-water pollution. Deputies concerned about water pollution. New laws on the way? Glass cups in, ceramics out, state's industry report. Emperor Napoleon dies. All right, this is nice. Okay, good read. Nice paper. Hey, we had somebody really happy there just for a brief moment. What's this liberal sympathy? Of all the parties in Kaiser Schreifen, you sympathize most with free democratic party and they could be a powerful ally. However, cozying up to one party might cause problems with the others. How will you proceed? Let's remain impartial. All right, you have been successful at impartiality and all the parties are quite neutral towards you. Nice. This is good. All right. This is going to... They are debating their balls off right now in the city hall about this anti-water pollution. And you know what? Let's leave them to it. In the meantime, let's check out this grammar school. Let's uh, endorse the service to give it one boost to quality and it's going to cost 10 Let's not do that, okay? We could have endorsed the service, but we didn't need to. What about here? Service output. Instant. Another one. National Swarelian Party wins the elections. Physiocratic Party came second with 35% support. Okay, that's good to know. We're going to cozy up to them for sure because they seem to be like uh, in the lead somehow. All right, so we're currently researching sanitation, which is going to be really nice. Looks like somebody died. Somebody got a job and then promptly died. Maybe it was the shock of actually being employed. I don't know. I mean, it can happen. There's been a tax proposal come through as well. The expenses of Kaiser Schaefen are higher than its income. The physiocratic party suggests that the city should increase industrial tax rates to get more income. It is justified because industry has such a negative environmental effect. Yes. Okay, let's support this. Okay. Vote on tax adjustments caused long debates in the council. That's fine. We're going to go move to approve. The council will vote on the proposal. It's happy for your support. It's going to goodwill measures. Citizens who voted for this party are more likely to do so again. There will be a vote on changes in taxation and change of opinion on the current vote. Okay. Perfect. More more tax, more money. More, more problems. Fuck, why are people dying all the time? I don't get it. Stop dying, please. It's an industrial building in which people are dying. Maybe the uh, maybe the standards, the quality standards in the in in the industry, like we were talking about before, are so low that people don't have the right tools for the job and uh, are therefore dying. I hope that's not the case, but you never know. How are our residents doing in this fair district? Um, they seem to be okay. We have some elites here. We have 38 elites. 34% uh, of them are elderly. And uh, they make uh, a lot of uh, tax income. The middle class is what's making us all of our money, though. 23% of them are elderly right now. There's 79 middle class uh, and 115 students. Fuck, 193 
lower class. The lower class is actually what's uh, making us the most. Because they, they, they're, they are the most. Oh well. Uh, we have an economic crisis, apparently. The economic situation of Kaiser Schaefen is worrying. If you don't do something, your career as a mayor might be cut short. Okay, let's, um, let's pay a bit. No, let's send a letter to the emperor and see what he says. Okay, we've done that. We're, the vote on modifying the taxes. Okay, let's begin voting. The vote is ready. We're counting up the votes, and it looks like we're going to tax industry like we've never taxed it before and hopefully make some money. The effect is going to be um, tax rate for industrial companies, a 2% increase in tax. Okay, nice. Are we making money now? No, we're, we, we are in... So far, we're losing money, but not as much as we were. We were losing 12k before, and now we're we're down to 7.8k uh, that we're losing. We need to balance things out a little bit better. We still have we have personal funds, and we have city money as well. We have quite a bit of city money. We're only losing a little tiny bit of it. So so far so good, I think. This anti-water pollution thing is taking just fucking way too long. Come on, just vote already and make the people happy. Look, these people are miserable. They want sanitation. Not only that, they don't want water pollution. They live next to this lake. If it's polluted, it's no good. It needs to be clean, for Christ's sake. Jesus. We could create a new district if we want to. Is that wise at this point? I would say probably not. But um, there will be a time, I'm sure, when... You know what? Fuck it. We're going to create a new district. We're going to create a new district. And we're going to fill it with... Um, you know what? We're going to create the true, the true lake view. Are you ready for this? You all ready for this? Hey. Yes. Whoa. Okay, look at this. This is nice, isn't it? We're going to put it like here. What's wrong with it right now? It's too small, okay. That's fine. We're going to... Um, Put another thing here. Okay, now it's big enough. Okay, this this is the true lake view. Right by the lake. Okay, it's going to attach to a Bronag. Uh, we're going to confirm this land plan. It's going to cost us uh, 24k a month. Uh, it's 15 ha. <laughs> That's the size of it. It's going to cost us a little bit of money, but I think we're going to be fine here. Okay, we're going to confirm this land plan. Wonderful. Uh, and, uh, what infrastructure do we want? We want the gas. We want to activate the grid here for them, for sure. And then, uh, let's confirm this infrastructure. Great. Confirmed. And confirm the services and propose the district. Uh, it's going to be called Lakeview. Lakeview. Nice. Okay, this is how we change it. We're going to put it up to a normal vote. Uh, and we're going to say, okay. Nice! Lakeview. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is nice. But it's going to cost us a lot of money, though. Um, the new district is almost... No. It's an appealed. We've The Physiocratic Party has appealed the Free Democratic Party on the new district. It looks like these guys are all greasing each other's palms and stuff. Talking about... Oh, look, sanitation is almost ready. The city administration is learning about how other cities have solved their water and waste problems. Do you want them to focus on sewers? Hell yes. Okay, perfect. Sewers is definitely something that we need. These people are dying in here because there's no sewers. Anti-water pollution is almost done. It looks like the new district is almost done as well. And we're losing less money than ever before, if you could believe that. Look it, we've got new businesses coming into the city. Things are leveling out. Ah, oh, new district. The vote is in. All right, let's begin voting. It looks like we're going to win this one by a landslide as well. Everybody is thrilled beyond belief at the thought of Lakeview, the new district that we've just added. And we've done it. Lakeview is now a thing. All right. Time to move in, motherfuckers. There, they're moving in. Look, they're coming in in droves. Look at this. They're setting up new houses, apartment buildings. Maybe we can say, you know what? Let's make the density of this place higher so that we can get some big high rises and skyscrapers. Just tower over Brennan from Lakeview and uh, also deny the people of Lakeview a view of the lake because of skyscrapers as well. That could be a thing too. Oh, anti-water pollution is ready to go. 
It's going to be a close one. We're going to have to appeal some parties here. Who are we going to appeal? Uh, let's go for pleading. Uh, and we're going to praise the positive, positive effects behind our position. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, we've gained some, some possible... we got to get these guys into swing, I think. And we can't. We can't do it now. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be a really close one. We're going to have to see how we do. Next party. The Free Democratic Party. Okay, we're going to plead with them as well. The city really needs it. Oh, okay. They're going to swing even more. Okay, next party. The National Swarilian Party. Okay, guys. We're going to plead. Most citizens agree with this. I really want to fix this issue. We we'll do it for the people. Okay. We might be in good shape here, I think. We might actually be in, in good shape. Okay, let's close this down. Let's begin voting. All right, come on, anti-water pollution. We got to pass this. It looks like it's gone through. Oh, nice. Great. It's been enacted. End of water pollution. The Imperial Council has approved a series of edicts restricting pollution and enforcing sensible water pollution laws. The laws are monitored by new Ministry of Environment and infractions are subject to fines. A deputy from the Kingdom of Hungary remarked, Finally, our children can drink the water without fear of poisoning themselves. The laws will take a few years to take effect. Alright. Well, it doesn't happen overnight, but look! Trees have appeared hovering above people's houses in Brenna. Is it aliens? No. It's a status icon indicating that you've done something truly remarkable in the game Urban Empires available now for the PC and purchasable on Steam if you like this sort of thing. Um, so far so good. I mean, it's pretty neat. It takes some getting used to, uh, for sure. Oh, we're having some trouble with the Conservatives, apparently. The Free Democratic Party dislike the Conservatives because they're standing in the way of reforms that the Free Democratic Party think are necessary. What do you do? Um, let's try and help the parties find some common ground. We're going to be the mediators here. You made the Free Democratic Party understand the physiocrats point of view, but the party still refused to make any concessions. All right. Sweet. Um, yeah, so far so good. I could get into this. It's, uh, it's pretty slow pace. A golden future. The world is entering a boom that shall never end, despite all the others having done so. An, epino an economic boom is simply when everything everywhere is going well. Nice. Productivity and sales increase. Trade grows and accelerates. Sometimes even wages increase, but most economists refer this is a bullish market. And warm that booms and busts come in cycles. Man. Fucking... A bunch of downers. Jeez, everybody's just trying to enjoy a boom. And these guys are like, oh, well, it's going to end soon. Well, fuck you. Strange gift. Oh, my God. Somebody's gifted me a llama. You've been sent a gift from some tropical Caribbean island. When you go to the port to collect it, you find that the gift is a live llama with a short note attached to it. <laughs> Pay the ransom. Pay the ransom or you're going to keep getting one of these every day. No. No. I'm being inundated with llamas. Congratulations on your mayorship. I wish you a long and successful career as a token of my goodwill. I've sent you Hector. Treat him well. Sincerely yours, Penultimo. Oh, nice. It's the guy from Tropico. He sent us a llama. Oh, nice. You glance at Hector the llama. He snorts and ignores you. Guess you have to learn how to take care of a llama now. Can I build a pen or something? Where's my mayor house and my llama pen? This is all things that maybe are available later on in the game. Anyway. Urban Empires. If you like this sort of thing, check it out. You can get it on Steam. There's a link to the Steam page uh, in the description of the video, as usual. I do that all the time, whether I like the game or not. Uh, because, obviously, everybody's got different opinions and different things that they like and don't like. Uh, so this might be the one for you. It might not be. For me, uh, it's so-and-so. It hasn't, like, blown me away. Uh, but it seems very playable. It seems pretty fun. It would be nice to, like, sort of unlock some new tech and, uh, build a really big city and manage it and stuff. I think that that would be pretty cool. I don't know, though. Um, having... Not having the ability to actually plan the city yourself, like, down to the nitty-gritty details, like placing the trees and stuff, uh, for me, seems like, oh god, I would love to get in here and replan some of these, because, like, they're not making, like, the best use of space. But at the same time, managing it from this level and just, uh, watching it sort of come about and grow and stuff is, is kind of cool, too, and a bit of a change of pace. So, um, take from that what you will. 
excellent. Another evening with Sips complete. Urban Empires, like I said, check it out if you want to. Um, and uh, as usual, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you next time!